Oh, five of spades. So, it's just a test? Nope. If the collectibles do cause codex entries to be added, then they're only done periodically. Or maybe the clicking on stuff I can read might do that. Discovered how to open the secret passage in the library. Now we're looping back around. And we have that symbol again. Oh, hey. Right, that's, that, that's the symbol of one of these guys being around. Oh, right, it needs to be wound. I've totally forgotten about the whole winding thing. The barrel has a rich, sweet aroma. It seems to be filled with port. Sheets cover older furniture. It smells of decay and must. And we've looped all the way back around to the locked door. What about over here? Maybe I can at least witness their murder for once. Shelf is filled with books and scripture. There's a card in between the books. Eight of spades. No brochure update. Shelf is filled with books of the demonology. Now where does this lead me out? At last I am in this room. Oh. You know what? I'm just gonna go for it. I got the winding key. Let's just activate that thing before the day loops on me. Oh, they both died just now too, so I missed it regardless. Quickly! Uh, there. What? It's the wrong clock for the winding key. I need a different winding key. This is the heaven and hell winding key. Peculiar. What's over here? These levels just keep going. Oh, I'll just read till I get kicked out. Mask girl weeping over dice, it makes you uncomfortable. It's signed Carrington. Hey, we're about to get kicked out. What? Was this room a waiting area? Waiting for what? Alright, let's give up. Time to loop! But I've got a number of threads to investigate. There's a top floor area I haven't checked out yet. There's the, area, there's the next room over from where I just was. And also the room we last saw those two people that have died in. And maybe we'll investigate their death from there. Maybe let's make that my next priority, actually. Just to give us a sense of direction, maybe I should specifically... What? There we go. 8 p.m. Let's skip to right before their death. Man, that fast-forward effect is a trip. I'm gonna skip forward to their deaths. Being imminent. And I'm just gonna head straight over there now that we know our way in. And maybe I'll have a chance to witness it. And what, see what happens to them. Hello. So interestingly, when you, light, when you light some of these candles, they just stay lit. But other candles don't seem to stay lit? I'm pretty sure I've had to relight candles before. I don't think I'm crazy about that. So basically, I opened up like a uh, secret doorway back there is how that happened. They gave me a, a, a new side path, and that's how I'm able to loop around here. There's the winding key I don't know how to use yet. So I've been here before. This is the picture of the what looks like... Yeah, that's... that's... The guy that runs this place? Painting has a clear set of peepholes where the eyes would be. There's someone blo something blocking the other side. No new brochure thing. Let's avoid that for now. Let's let's go up here because it kind of closes a gap on the map. A dark mask over pale marble. The statue emanates pure white hot grief. It's hard to be near. Entrance hall. Must have missed that one. I don't think the statues have been set correctly. This is very much not ideal. Ah, it opened. I did like you asked. Can't believe it worked, though. See, this used to be before it turned into an elevator? It's part of an old furnace system. Oh, no. Furnace? What the hell are we doing climbing into a furnace, man? Pfft, it, ha it has all been disconnected. Lucas had me create the entirely new, highly efficient heating network for the mansion. They're gonna burn to death. Are you sure? It feels warm in here. It does. Oh no. Ooh. 
Ooh. There goes the other one. Gonna be hard to get his invitation. So yes, we do need hearts. We need four hearts, though. I'm missing an entire statue, so we still need to look around. So the, the bright green part was right. Arum's smoldering corpse blocks the entrance to the elevator. The stench of burned flesh fills the air. Right, his invitation would be would be burned at this point. Okay. Now we know. That's, we got a lot of directions to check out now. Behind the curtains, just blank wall props. The, these were doorways that were sealed up. Okay, time to start over. So now we've seen their death, they go into an elevator that's supposed to go somewhere, and because they're not all set to hearts, they are incinerated. I only know where three of the statues are, though. One of which he doesn't properly use, the other one's in the entry hall with me. Even then, they're like, the entry hall? I must have missed that one. Because, like, he, even he doesn't understand that th this, this one being... Like, this one's fine, it was already a heart, so I didn't have to worry about that. But he... He just didn't bother actually making the other one a heart. So we only have three, right? One, two, three... Okay, so now I need, I need to search for a fourth one, and just generally fill in the rest of the map. So the bottom floor looks positively dense with areas to check out, so I'm gonna check out the, the top floor area I didn't finish here first. Because I think that might be over sooner, but I'm not really sure. At the very least, there's only one door that I haven't checked around here, which might may or may not lead to more, but down on the bottom floor I've got so many places to check. So it's this one, which I misjudged originally. Ah, it's another mirror room. So at the time, I thought it was going to lead me to that brown spot, in the, that brown balcony part of the map in the middle. But it was completely wrong about that. So, oh right, we can check out all these neighboring rooms as a result. Okay. Who are you? Oh. A worker. I'm like, who would be here right now? Can I hear him? Oh, he's gone into the mirror. Yeah, that, we, that was an on-screen confirmation of them doing that. Faded hand right, uh, faded handwritten book sits on the display case. The title appears to be The History of Cardenio. The setting of this mirror is beautifully sculpted. There is a moth mark on the lower right corner. It's gotta be crazy to track where these guys go. Library winding key. That's the one I'm looking for, I think. And I got another collectible, so those don't lead to Codex entries. I was just wrong about that. Fierce hog heads line the wall. They look identical, which casts doubt on their authenticity. And that's the balcony. So how does one get to the... So I need another way to get to the second floor to get to that other piece of balcony that goes somewhere else that I also can't go through via the balcony d d door. So something else must lead there. But at the very least, the fact that I've gotten the library winding key... Well... How does it help me? Huh. Does that other part count as being still part of the library is the issue? Oh no, that that's... I guess that's technically the library, probably, huh? The hidden passage area? My concern is whether or not I can use it on the... Uh... On the clock I'm trying to use it on. It's not the biggest deal ever, because you can move around fairly quickly in this game. Especially since you can just run through the door, all the rooms that have enemy, enemies in them, and, or masks in them, I mean. You just need to sprint through. Because you need to get out of the, you need to get out quickly, but you can stay there for a bit. But it would be nice to not be starting off in the opening hallway anymore. So we now know that this painting is a door. And now, can I wind you? There we go. And now we have our very own save points. And because of that, I'm gonna go ahead and reset the day here. We're only four days in. I guess this goes from noon to midnight, right? We're only four days in, but I might as well... Or four hours in, but I might as well just start over here so I have enough time to fully explore this place, especially since all of the NPCs are not here yet. They're meeting in the opening hall, so they won't be getting in my way for a little while. This bottom left door. We've, we've I've set foot in there, but don't know where it leads, ultimately. I'm gonna go right first. Whoop. 
The moment when you start pressing right, but you haven't actually opened the map to the right yet. This guy's immediately here, huh? A dining hall. The place card reads Orum Runes, Theros Gorecki. Lafcadio Boone and Eleanor Bodes. Grace and Grace and Red Rock Ridge. Clay Rockridge, Trinity Carrington. Tequila Bell, Widow Blue. Okay. They can only put them on one side, that's why they're paired. They wanted to only put their reading points on that side. Curtains open behind his with peepholes. Possible see through. Oops. So I'm supposed to see through from the other side. So at some point something's gonna happen in this room and I can peep through. Is that where they go? Someone goes in there. Hello, winding key I don't know where to put. Might as well just grab you while we go. Ha! Uncomfortable. So what is this guy's deal? What is he carrying exactly? Here he comes. Is he setting a trap in this room? He's got what looks like an arm? Like a metal arm? Open this up. This hides here. He hit a statue's arm. Who uses a dumb waiter these days? A dumb restaurant owner. Ha ha ha. Dumb waiter. Get it? Jokes. Jokes. God, I'm tired. Whew. Back to it then. Even if he did know the statues all need to have be set to hearts, that old fossil wouldn't be able to do anything about it now anyway. Okay, so the one that I couldn't turn because it was missing an arm. That's the arm I need. But I thought that was the one I could turn earlier, right? Just gonna go run through and grab that. Oh, and that was right before they met each other too. Masks, why? Why are the masks so angry? Hidden dumbwaiter compartment? There's a statue arm inside. There we go. So we need that. Don't know if I'll be using it during this particular attempt, but I have it. I will now sprint past the danger. Ah! So this is where they die. Up. Oh, skull face is up there again. Being all skull facey. Oh, right. Wait, what's going on up here? Nightmare Devil Doors? That's creepy. Paintings are uniformly bizarre and unsettling. The room is a glorious visual nightmare. Is this gonna lead to the white room, I wonder? This is exactly where it leads to, is the other side of this hall- this, uh, roof. This top floor, I mean. Stone fireplace, the embers are cold. Just got two cards in the same room? They just kind of ran out of places to put them, I guess. If two of them are gonna be, like, overlapping on the floor. So many details now. So we, kn we know about the dumbwaiter, which is the arm. But I don't have four statues in it, right? Yeah, that one in the middle of the screen right there, that one, that's the one that breaks, I guess, because I couldn't change it later. But now I, ha now I know where to get the arm for that. But he, d he takes the arm so early in the day, which confuses me a little bit, because it wasn't it... I feel like it's worked later in the day than that. Unless I encountered a different statue that I'm not, not thinking about? I think I'm still on the search for that. Of oh, the basement. A not so heavily covered location on the map so far. We haven't even been to this area yet either since the beginning. Wonder when that'll come up. Yeah, the top floor from our starting room. Nothing else going on in here. This is called the Heaven and Hell Staircase. So somewhere near here there must be a, he a Heaven and Hell clock then. For me to wind. Another one, of course. This really did just become a form of collectible. Oh, I didn't even get to pick it up. What are you, chasing me? Oh, there's more than one of you. 
Oh my goodness, everything's trying to kill me. At least let me finish take, taking the staircase, dude. Ah! That was just unpleasant, frankly. There we go. Alright, we have a few things to check out in the near future. Let's loop. Maybe if I rewind a bit, I can get less floor traffic around here, so I can finish what I was doing up there. Alright, so two new clocks have been wound recently. Oh! I wound it, and I didn't sync with it. Crap. Still, I wasted a lot of time, so now I can... I can easily get back to that spot in way less time. And hopefully actually wind it this time, it's fine. Because I was, I was investigating so many dif different directions around here to learn about the dumbwaiter. Here we are. These places are so close together. But still useful to have the right clocks. Let's try this again, huh? There we go. Dummy. I was a dummy. Staff must take special care of the plants in this mansion. They're all lush and vibrant. Or they're just fake. Almost every room in the mansion seems to have areas to sit and talk. Top of the cabinets lined with a with felt like roulette table. Smell of plants fills the room. What if they're all luscious because that's the what all the human sacrifices are for? I got turned around a little bit trying to go upstairs. Whoops. Wrong door. At the very least, I might as well grab that card, even if there's nothing else up there. But I got a bit interrupted, so I don't remember if there was anything else to do either. Uh, no, dead end. It's, an, uh, it's another mirror room is why. It's another room that all the employees come and go from. I wonder what their overall roster size is. Like, how many of them are there around here? Beautiful craft handcrafted mirror again. There is this haunting sense of being watched. I do wonder if we gain access to those at some point. It seems unnecessary because we have access to so much of this place that it's probably not really a requirement. An enormous monument of a phoenix. A strange mechanism is blocking access to the doors behind. Yeah, because it's a freaking furnace. I don't, don't really want to go in there. We'll start with this top room. Do they connect? They do. Ah. So this is the one where you need the handle the handle for. Plants covered with tiny needle sharp spines. White keys on the piano are carved from Scimitar Oryx horn. The black keys are Bostami turtle shell. How do you know that? There's the peep hole. So we need we don't need the peep hole anymore because the information's permanently gained. I just need to grab that arm after he puts it there and and switch this thing over to a heart. Skeletal image is mesmerizing, haunting. You cannot get it out of your head. It's not pleasant. It's like trying to wear lipstick and it has hair. Ugh, it's the hair growing out of it. Oh, Queen of Hearts. A Bible. It is open at Revelations 21 8. But, uh, but as for the cowardly, the faithless, the detestable, the murderers, their time will be forever in the lake of blood that burns with fire and sulfur, which is the death of. which is the death eternal. A card slips from the between the pages. How many do I have now? Dang. 33 out of 52. Not feeling terrible about that. The invitations seem like they're like a special puzzle that has like machinations involved to get to them. Because generally, it, it, I've gotten my two invitations from dead people. But some of these people die in crazy ways where I don't know how I'd reach their body, so maybe there's other ways to get them. The Hell Room was one of the two rooms that Eleanor planned to paint. A heaven room and a hell room, based on her love of some of the mansions that she visited when she was younger. However, while, while creating the demonic artwork that, can, that covered every inch of the Hell Room, she was overcome with a great sense of dread and unease. The Hell Room was later wallpapered over, leaving only one image uncovered. She called it the Golden Skull, a skeleton of a young child with beautiful glow, uh, golden hair. The Heaven Room was never started, but lies two rooms to the west. Two rooms to the west. So that's the heaven room across the uh, hallway, then. 
Uh, let's take a look at it under under that new pretense. Just because I'm kind of curious. So that was the hell room. They said it was never, never started. That person dies at like straight at four o'clock. The one that seems to f that probably falls from the window. Are they the last person? I wonder. So this is supposed to be the heaven room. It's pretty, I suppose. Right, she was supposed to paint it. Is the premise? I, I believe. Where else can I check out? I just want to finish the map off because at this point, I think I can take care of the uh, hearts to save them. That's, that's not something I'm overly concerned about. So all the connected door, all the connected doors have been explored around here. That door was locked, right? The one in the middle of the hallway. Did I? I think I've covered everything now. Okay, then. It's a little late in the day, so let's say we reset the day. We'll reset now, and then I'll run to each statue and change it to a heart. But I have to specifically get this guy's dumbwaiter ar arm. I guess resetting might have been pointless because I have to wait for the guy to place the arm. Well, I can change the one in the hallway to being a heart, I suppose. So we start off with two hearts. Then one of them becomes not a heart. I would presume that it's... Is it this one that starts off as a heart? It sure does. But I need to wait for him to take it and leave. That's fine. I think I can do this one last. Making making this a crappy starting point for my current strategy, but that's fine. Let's see. I want to take care of the other ones first, then come back to this one to change it to a heart. Both because I have to wait for him to finish his whole talk about about his dumbwaiter joke. Eh, I might as well set this one as my spawn point then. It's more useful for this spot, really. So the next room over is one of them. I need to make that a heart. Where? Next room over. Sorry. So many rooms in this place. All right, so let's make you a heart. Come on, lucky, lucky. All right. Hi. Bye. Really dangerous how they straight up acknowledge the mechanisms and like, oh, it's not a heart. Oh, I guess we'll try it anyway. Oh well. Ah. So I've got to wait for people to leave now. Okay, so one way or another, I do have to wait for this guy to get bored with the bar and move on, and for the other guy to get bored, uh, to move on with his dumbwaiter joke, basically. And you can't understand anyone with your hearing because of the music playing in this room. Which turned out to be a not just a random record player, but a specifically placed puzzle, because it's blocking you from being able to, uh... Why, is, why do some of these relight themselves and some of them don't? Weird. <clears throat> So it's a specifically placed puzzle here. They put the record here because it, it stops you from overhearing the password. Everything kind of means more than expected. Oh, crap. So I was expecting this to come up as part of the other music-related mission, but now it's this one. Oh, he moved aside. Whoops. He's not done yet. So he moves aside without you being able to hear him. The music note made me think I was in trouble, but I guess it's fine. Hopefully he doesn't turn it again on his way out. Are these genuinely random? Because not getting the heart right away is that definitely like a, come on, come on! <laughs> there we go. I think I already broke that vase and got the collectible out of it. Alright, so that one should be a heart now. And that one should be a heart now, but I'll check on the way back. The one in the entryway should still be a heart. I don't think anyone changes that. But I'll double check for now. Yep, you're still a heart. 
So now I'll double check to see if the uh, guy in the wheelchair changed the one he went by. And then I'll grab the extra arm to fix the one that's been sabotaged. Who makes these things? I say knowing that the answer is that person over there that's about to get killed by these things. That's the, uh, that's already established. There's answers for everything. So you guys are having your meeting in here right now? Nope, it's just the one of you this time. He's- the, the staff isn't in here at the moment. Here we go. He even turns it back. Is that really a dumbwaiter? Doesn't seem connected to anything. Next statue is... We need to go down to the next- we need to go down to the next room, then through the side door. Here we go. Arms back in. Now let's crank that. Crank it better. Crank it harder, longer, and uncut. Ta-da! Alright, there we go. It's all hearts. Where are you, Orem? I don't like waiting out in the open here. They gonna go hide in a side room, then? Looks like it. Think, Thanos, there isn't much time. Ah, I thought he was going through a door. I just figure I'll follow them around because I'm just waiting now. And these parties have always been extraordinary. But something is very wrong here. Is he coming over here now? I like that because he's, uh... We don't get a pr we don't get proper door physics. No one's ever s even seen a glimpse of the Marquis at his own party, and the staff! Why does no one else see it? But, and why would we be kept from parts of the mansion? Why have me build you a secret elevator in the first place, Lucas? Damn it. Just ref just to remind myself. Crap, I'm trying to remember my own my own name. Uh Chapel Guardian Secrets about the guests. No, just them. I keep forgetting my first name. We got like the I can kind of recognize my my last name, but I keep forgetting my first name. Oh, I'm just getting close. Was my name Lucas? If you if you've set all four statues to spades, then my moment. Oh crap! I heard a sound. How screwed are we? One of them has changed. Crap! Well, it's not the first one. Time to sprint. You're still fine. It's probably the one on the other side, isn't it? You did it, didn't you? He probably turned something on his way out. Go, go, go! I don't have it memorized which one is which. I just know the one on the far left is the one in my starting room. It's you! It was probably the- it was probably him, because he's so not thinking. He's like, ah, oh, pull on an arm, whatever. And he's probably actively sabotaging himself. Quickly! Aurum, that's done it! The statue symbols, I don't understand. This should be the correct combination. You think the Marquis changed them? I... It's possible. But if that were true, then the ones I was working towards... Well, it's too terrible to imagine what could have happened. I'm feeling better than I thought I would. Maybe I don't need this mask on right now. Yes, I feel... I rather feel a weight has been lifted.
Well, I guess we saved them. Boon! Lafcadio. Yeah, Lafcadio Boon, right? This has nothing to do with the other name. How are you, man? Did you... Did you do something with the elevator here? I have the most terrible feeling. Boon, would you mind terribly continuing our search for Lucas? I am worried about him, but he is least likely to be offended when the concern is coming from you. That boy loves you, Laffy. Looks up to you, you know? Even with all his crazy riches, he still has a soul needs saving. Plus, this old fool here owes me a drink. And some staff members an apology. There will be zero apologizing, the sass of that young man. I tell you, in my day... Dear Lord, his hair just keeps going. I thought I thought that his cra I thought his insane hair was part of his mask, but it is not. His hair legit just keeps going. Oh, there we go. We've saved everyone we've ever seen so far, except for the person falling out of the window. I think, unless I'm mixing them up with somebody. Thanos's mask is yours, Boone. Thanos' Architect Insight. The genius architect Thanos Gorecki has an unparalleled knowledge of the sexy brutal. Visiting certain areas in the mansion will trigger memories and reveal secrets. Unlock new entries in the brochure by using this power when the prompt appears. He knows more about this place than any man except perhaps Reggie. With that mask and Thanos' knowledge, so much will be revealed to you. Thanos' monument in your is your path forward, but he can also reveal so much about the mansion and the path you've already taken. You've opened a path downwards, Boone. I want to thank you. There is something so precious down there in the dark. Come to find me. So I can fill out the brochure now. But I have to backtrack through the entire game, presumably? Oh, are you just dump it wait, what? You're just putting me in there? What if I want to look around? Well now. I guess this is my new checkpoint from here on out. I think we're nearing the end.